I will attempt to give a brief sketch of what I believe to be the virtues and characteristics embodied by a hypothetical ideal man to serve as inspiration for men who aspire to such ambitious heights. My aim is to exemplify the excellence of the ideal male archetype and give dignity back to the male sex, particularly in a surrounding culture that often attempts to marginalize it. It does not matter that only a few in each generation will grasp and achieve the full reality of man's proper stature, and that the rest will betray it. It is those few that move the world and give life its meaning, and it is those few that I seek to address now. The rest are no concern of mine. It is not me or this philosophy that they will betray. It is their own souls. The ideal man is someone who is governed solely by rationality, his basic tool of survival, which he strives to exercise at all times. He is a creative individualist, someone who sees man's high potential and strives to actualize it, whose highest moral purpose is productivity in achieving his own personal achievement and happiness, a man who perseveres to achieve his values even when his ability and independence leads to conflict with others. The ideal man desires pride and prestige for its own sake. He should never be resentful of the success of others. His courage, steadfastness, and indomitability drives him to seek self-sufficiency, independence, as well as recognition and honor over security. A man should have empathy and compassion for others without putting their welfare above his own. The ideal man does not sacrifice himself for his family or country or anything else the society aims to indoctrinate into young men. The ideal man pursues his own goals of achievement and aligns his goals with that of his family slash community. The ideal man does not go to work every day, for example, and make sacrifices so that his kids can get an education or a better life. The ideal man makes the education of his children his priority, without sacrificing his own education, achievement, and happiness. A wise man exhibits comfortable politeness and graciousness in his dealings with everyone, but is watchful of his dignity all the same, and does not suck up to or lower himself to anyone. He is well-spoken, never crass or vulgar. Someone who can reign in his impulses, he rules his impulses rather than being ruled by them. The ideal man spends regular time in solitude, capable of survival in harshest wilderness and thriving in the urban metropolis, a well-read, intelligent, educated individual, physically strong and tough. There's a darker side to the ideal man also. He understands that because the world is imperfect, compromises in morality may sometimes be necessary to achieve great things, even if some people get hurt along the way. They accept that suffering is a necessary component of good things, and they accept loneliness. They are a loyal friend only to those they deem worthy of their friendship. They'll be a bit wicked around sex by contemporary standards, too. In summary, greatness requires some qualities that to the outside observer may be a bit disturbing. To be masculine is to be dominant. A man should never allow himself to be whipped, walked over, or disrespected by anyone, particularly by women. The ideal man has the ability, the strength, power, cleverness, competence, and even the desire to bulldoze over your interests, muscle you aside and manipulate you, but he has instead voluntarily chosen to restrain himself to follow a more moral course. He's a coiled spring with indomitable will and focus. Identifying the traits of the ideal man is not an attempt at reintroducing patriarchal standards or resurrecting chauvinism, as some of my cynical viewers might assume, but it is instead an attempt at inspiring men to aspire to their better nature so that they can achieve their proper stature as masters of the universe. And so, despite the hostility towards men in contemporary society and the deep conflict in contemporary culture regarding questions of manhood, Masculine men must endure.